Here's a single exposure of this bedroom. We have our darkest area here and our brightest area here. Okay, so these are six exposures from the same room. This is the shot I'm going to use to get the darkest area of the room, which is right here. This is the exposure I'm going to use to get the brightest area of the room, which is right here. Now, I could probably just use this photo. I didn't have to go this dark, but what I look for is to make sure I have all the detail in the sky and in the clouds. That way I know I have everything I need and I would just rather go a little bit darker than I needed to than not dark enough. So I've already made all these pictures uh, into a stack so I'm just gonna um, collapse this stack and I'm gonna use a plugin called Infuse. I like the result that the Infuse plugin comes up with a little bit better than Lightroom's HDR feature. So here's the image and I haven't applied uh, a preset or brought down the highlights or anything. This is just how it looks. It's already looking pretty good. So we'll apply the preset uh, which is going to bring down the highlights and bring up the shadows all the way and it's also automatically adjusting the white balance a bit. Now I'm going to bring up the exposure to get the room at the brightness I want it. Uh, this is about where I like it. Now the windows are looking pretty good but I want to be able to see all the detail in that window so I want it just a little bit darker and I also want to warm it up a bit so I'm gonna play with the white balance a little. So I'm gonna use the adjustment brush for this and I have a preset here that I use for windows and I'm just gonna paint the whole window with the brush. I'm not worried about going outside of the lines and I will uh, erase where I went over afterwards. I find that uh, it's a little bit easier this way to clean up the mess with the erase brush than try to get it perfect when you're first applying it. Now this would take uh, a long time and would be very tedious if I was using the uh, laptop trackpad or a regular mouse. I have a Wacom tablet with a little pen so you're basically just it's the same motion you've been using you know, your whole life with a pencil and a pen so it, it's pretty easy to just you know scribble and pretty accurate uh, otherwise this would take forever and I wouldn't be doing this at all so this is a little bit darker than I need so I'm gonna adjust this a little bit um, and I'm gonna play with the white balance a bit and that's it uh, of course I'd go and do the other window as well but I think this is enough to show you the technique thanks for liking and thank you for subscribing